It is that time of year again where Sephora is hosting their holiday savings event. I get really excited during these sales because they only happen twice a year, but also this is a great time to stock up on your holy grails, pick up something new for yourself, and also a great time to pick up some gifts for your friends and family for the upcoming holiday season. Now this year the sale runs until November 6th, so if you are a Rouge member, your sale starts today, October 27th for 20% off and if you are a VIB or an insider then your sale starts on October 31st and again we all have until November 6th. So get your carts ready the night before because I'm telling you things sell out really fast especially holiday gift sets. Honestly there are a lot of great sets out there right now that just make sense for what you're getting and sometimes I will buy holiday gift sets for myself because it just makes more sense getting the kit for what you're getting and for the price point. It actually is sometimes cheaper to do that than buying individual products. So of course I'm gonna be sharing a couple of those in today's video and everything else that I wanna purchase. So everything that I'm talking about will be linked below for you in my description box. So let's start off with that first product. I should also mention as well that the Sephora collection is 30% off and that sale starts today as well until November 6th. It doesn't matter what card member you are, we all get 30% off the Sephora collection. Now speaking of the Sephora collection, if there's one thing that I could recommend, it's to look into their makeup brushes. Either you pick up some individual brushes depending on what you need and what you want or pick up a brush set. And I highly recommend for you to pick up a brush set because you're getting all the brushes to create a makeup look. And it just makes sense to do that because you're getting a really nice case to go with it. So if you like to store your brushes when you're not using it in a case, or let's say you travel a lot, that case is a must have. So it just makes sense to do that. Now I actually have this set, but I did pick it up about a year or two ago. So it basically looks the exact same except for the case is a little different than what I have. But this is the Pro 8 piece face and eye brush set. So you're getting a powder brush, a blush brush, a foundation brush, and then all of those eye brushes as well. And the quality of the Sephora collection brushes are outstanding. They're very soft, they don't shed, they're easy to clean, and they apply makeup really nicely as well. So if you're in the market for some new makeup brushes, honestly, look at the Sephora collection because these are very underrated, and I feel like these are one of the best that I've used so far. Of course, I have a couple of individual brushes from brands that are more expensive, but for everyday use, get this, this is really, really good. All right, so I don't even know where to begin here. I'm just going to start from the first product in my cart and I'm just going to go right to the bottom. So the first product that's in my cart is the Sol de Janeiro Bum Dia Bright Cream. I am gonna be picking up one of these. I thought about maybe picking up two because this is something that I use on a weekly basis all the time. So I go through these pretty quickly, especially the largest size. And so I might pick up two because possibly this might get me to the next Sephora sale in the spring. So yeah, I might pick up two of these and I'm also going to pick up another Sol de Janeiro Bum Bum Cream. So the Bum Dia Bright Cream and the Bum Bum Cream are the two scents that I like to alternate and go back and forth with. Now with the Bum Bum Cream, they do have a limited edition size. So I'm going to insert a picture right here. It's very large. I believe it's 16.9 ounces. So for me, this would make more sense for how often I use this cream. So I actually might purchase this size. Unfortunately, they don't have this size with the Bum Dia Bright Cream. I wish they did because honestly, that scent is fabulous. It's fruity, but with some spiciness to it. This one has that spiciness too, but it just has that tropical scent. It has that salted pistachio. I don't know, it, it just smells incredible. So I think I'm gonna purchase the largest size of the Bum Bum, but then I have no choice but to pick up the 240 ml size of the Bum Dia Bright Cream. And again, I might pick up two of those. 
I need a restock of the Drunk Elephant Silk Amino Conditioning Leave-In Milk. This is my go-to product on those hair wash days, but also even on those non-hair wash days. This is your leave-in conditioner and you can use this on wet or dry hair. So if your hair needs some additional moisture, this is a great product to use as it really does help to moisturize your ends. It just conditions them. It gives shine and it also adds a lot of softness as well. If you have frizziness, I do feel like this helps to tame on that frizziness also. So this is the very first product that I use after I've gotten out of the shower. And then of course I will go in with my other products afterwards. So this is your leave-in conditioner that will help to nourish and moisturize the ends, but also it does act as a heat protectant as well. But if you wish to go in with another type of heat protectant on top of this, then you can totally do that. And I've done that many times. Now the Drunk Elephant Hair Care line is very underrated. I pretty much use the entire Drunk Elephant hair care line on my own hair. I love their products so much. I have very fine hair and I feel like their products work really well on my hair type. And also it's a fragrance free line and they don't have silicones either. And that is typically what I'm looking for. I don't usually use products with silicones and I will get into that in a different video. But if you wanna see what I love and use, I will link up that video below for you. I do like some K18 products also. So I will be picking up a restock of this and I do have a few other Drunk Elephant hair care products that I'm going to be picking up as well but we will get there in just a minute. I have my eye on the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette. So they came out with three new ones this year. They have the Snake Palette, the Leopard Palette, and the Jellyfish Palette. Now based on the shades of these palettes, I feel the Jellyfish Palette will work the best on my skin tone. Although I love the look of the Leopard Palette, I feel like, again, the jellyfish palette is going to be the best in terms of those shades so you get some blushes you get a bronzer you get a highlighter a finishing powder I have used a lot of hourglass powders in the past and I have nothing negative to say about it other than yes it's pretty expensive but the quality of the powder the way that it gives your skin this skin like finish it doesn't look like you're wearing powder it just looks like your skin it's beautiful, the formulations of these types of powders. So I'm gonna pick up this because I'm gonna be using this on my eyes as well. I'm all about using my face products on my eyes. So a lot of the times I will use my highlighters and my bronzers on my eyes instead of an eyeshadow, and I plan on doing that with this palette as well. So I'm very excited about this. If you've tried this, please let me know how you like it. But of course, they do have three options to pick from depending on your skin tone. Say came out with the Mini Dew Blush Trio Set, which I'm going to be picking up for sure. I love the Say blushes. They last a really long time. They have that nice pigment, and also they give your cheeks that nice dewy pop as well. So in this, trio set, you are getting the shades Chili, Rosy, and Baby. Now Baby is a new limited edition shade, so it's that cool tone baby pink. Rosy is a warm rose and Chili is a cool tone mauve. And I actually have the full size of Chili and I wear that one pretty much every single day. It works for all seasons. So I know that I'm going to get my use out of this because I love all three of these types of shades as they work really nicely on my skin tone. And with the Say blushes, you don't need a lot. The littlest tap will go a long way. So this is $43 Canadian. Of course, your discount on top of that, this is going to last a very long time. Great as a stocking stuffer or of course to gift to yourself. Now I've been eyeing this since it launched and this is the Kosas Dream Beam Silicone Free Mineral Sunscreen SPF 40 with ceramides and peptides. If you have tried this please let me know in the comments how you liked it. How does it pair up with makeup? How does it sit on its own? Does it look natural? Can it look unnatural? I just feel like when there's formulations that are slightly tinted with that pearlescent in it, sometimes it doesn't always look the best on my fair skin, like on my skin tone. Sometimes it can look very unnatural, even with or without makeup. So I'm not sure if I'm sold on this yet because sometimes these formulations can look very tinny on the skin. I don't wanna look like Tin Man. I don't wanna look like my skin is super greasy and shiny and sweaty looking. I just really like that 
natural skin like glow so if that's what this is please let me know in the comments again I might pick it up but I'm still deciding so talking about holiday kits this is one kit that actually makes sense so this is the drunk elephant circle of life proteiny duo edition so you are getting a full size proteiny polypeptide cream and you're also getting a refill size as well for $108 Canadian. One cream, if you were just to purchase the proteiny polypeptide by itself, then you are looking at $92 Canadian just for that one cream with the packaging. So spending a little bit more money will get you a refill size and then of course your discount on top of that. So I am most definitely picking up this duo kit because I use the Proteiny Polypeptide Cream all the time, sometimes twice a day, almost on an everyday basis and I know I will get a lot of use out of this. It almost makes me want to purchase two of these because how good this little kit is for the price point. So I might pick up two but I will most definitely pick up at least one. I'm also picking up the Dr. Dennis Gross Alpha Beta Daily Moisturizer. I recently talked about this and I've been waiting for the sale to pick up another one because it is a little expensive, but this honestly is one of the best moisturizers I have ever used for getting rid of texture, keeping your skin nice and smooth and soft and nice and bright. There is a blend of AHAs in here. There's also salicylic acid. So again, really great for texture to brighten up your complexion, especially if you have dark spots, post acne marks, that dull complexion, but this will also be great to treat fine lines as well. So this is very lightweight. It gives your skin this nice dewy finish. It's very moisturizing, perfect for all skin types, great for every day, twice a day. I haven't tried this in the dead of winter yet, but I can see this being a great option because it really is super moisturizing. So if you're looking for a new moisturizer that has that blend of AHAs and that BHA salicylic acid, then I highly recommend this. I'm also going to pick up the Dr. Dennis Gross Derm Infusions Fill Plus Repair Serum with Hyaluronic Acid. So this is one of my go-to peptide serums. Also, there's a lot of other fabulous ingredients in here as well, like niacinamide. There are some AHAs. And this is one of those serums that will target multiple skin concerns, like fine lines and wrinkles, dark spots, texture. It really helps to brighten up the skin. It really is a fabulous anti-aging product. And I love using this on a weekly basis, sometimes on an everyday basis as well. So this one also has a fragrance to it as well. And when I pair this up with the Dr. Dennis Gross Daily Moisturizer, this is exceptional to create that super soft feel to the skin. It just gets rid of any texture that is on my face. So I will be picking up one of these also. I'm also going to pick up the YSL Candy Glaze Lip Gloss Stick. Now, I was gifted this not long ago, and this is in the shade 15. And by the way, shade 15 is sold out right now. I wanted to pick up another shade because this is honestly the perfect shade that will work on pretty much all skin tones. I have it on today. It's like that nice rosy nude. That's how I describe it. Let me see what they describe it as. They describe it as a sheer nude, but it does have a little bit of that rosiness to it and it's absolutely beautiful, perfect for every day. And this is a lip gloss stick, but it has this nice thickness to it. So because of that, I feel like I don't need to reapply this constantly throughout the day just to add that color back on my lips. It actually has a really long wear time without having to reapply. There's a lot of products like this where I need to reapply every hour or every 45 minutes because it just isn't thick enough to stay on the lips. So I feel like a little bit goes a long way and I also feel like this will last a little bit longer than some traditional tinted lip balms or lip gloss sticks so even though this is expensive it really does last a very long time the formulation is very comfortable it's moisturizing it's not sticky there's no fragrance either and again number 15 is what's on my lips right now I would like to pick up another one but if it doesn't come back in stock I'm going to pick up shade 13 which is a sheer nude pink 
So I will let you know which shade I get in a future video when I reveal everything that I picked up, but let's hope number 15 comes back in stock. I'm also picking up another Cinema Secrets makeup brush cleaner. This is what I use to clean and disinfect my makeup brushes at least twice a month. This kills up to 99.99% of bacteria, and if you're going to invest you know, a lot in your makeup brushes and you're going to spend a lot of money on them, you want to take care of them. They're going to last longer when you clean those bristles, and if you are actually me prone it's important to clean your brushes with something like this that kills bacteria as this can help to prevent future breakouts as well so I will be picking up another one of these I'm also picking up the Drunk Elephant Cocomino Glossing Shampoo. This is another product from Drunk Elephant that I like to use. This adds a lot of shine to my hair without weighing my hair down. This does an excellent job to cleanse the hair. I always cleanse my hair twice just to make sure that all of the oil and buildup is removed from my hair, of course. I wash my hair twice a week. So, you know, on those non-hair wash days, I'm using dry shampoo and I'm using things that can cause that build up this does a really good job to cleanse the hair and when you rinse your hair out your hair actually feels nice it doesn't feel straw like it doesn't feel like you've completely stripped all of the moisture out of your ends your hair just feels incredible and when you've styled it and you've let your hair air dry or you blow dried your hair your hair has this beautiful shine so I highly recommend this shampoo again fragrance free and it's also silicone free as well I'm also picking up the drunk elephant silk amino mega moisture moisturizing masker. So this is a hair mask that I will do maybe once a week, sometimes every time I wash my hair. It adds a lot of moisture to the ends and when you rinse your hair, your hair literally feels like silk. I will leave it on for five minutes, sometimes longer than that. If you want to hop out of the shower and tie your hair up and walk around your house and do stuff for an hour with this in your hair, you can totally do that as well and it really gives a lot of shine to your hair also. My hair has never felt or looked better since using this. And again, fragrance free and it also does not contain silicones. So I highly recommend this if you're looking for a good hair mask. I'm also picking up a K18 Peptide Prep. This is the Clarifying Detox Shampoo. It's really important to clarify your hair at least once a month. If you can do it twice a month or if you're someone that uses a lot of hair products and you do develop that buildup, it's important to clarify on a regular basis to remove all of that because of course your hair care products are going to perform better especially those leave-ins and those products to repair the hair but also you will experience less breakage as well when you clarify your hair on a regular basis. Now I was never a fan of clarifying shampoos because they always made my hair feel like straw. It always stripped my hair and it just felt naughty and dry and crunchy and I never liked the way that my hair felt with clarifying shampoos. This is literally the best that I've ever used. I won't use anything else. This really has made the biggest difference on my hair. I actually look forward to clarifying my hair because it's the one clarifying shampoo that actually keeps my hair feeling like my hair. It doesn't feel dry. It doesn't get all tangly. It's truly amazing. So if you're looking for a good detox shampoo, I would say pick this up. I use this pretty much once a month, sometimes twice a month. It just depends. But again, it's really important to be using something like this in your hair care routine. I need a restock of the Makeup by Mario Soft Sculpt Transforming Skin Enhancer. So this is an all over balm that you can use to color correct. You can use this as your foundation basically, but I use this as my bronzer. And it's that nice creamy balm texture that allows your skin to look like your skin. I have it on today, I do have some blush, so you may not be able to tell too much, but usually when I wear a powdered bronzer, for example, you can tell that my skin has that powdery look. This keeps your skin looking like your skin, and it just looks like you've been outside and the sun has sun-kissed your skin. It looks very natural. It wears for a long time as well. It does give that nice, little subtle dewiness to the skin as well. And I do like to pair this up with liquid or cream based blushes as it just all ties in with one another with that same type of finish. And that's how I get that nice glow and dewiness to my skin. So I have this in light medium. I'm going to pick up another light medium. I did once pick up the light and I just found it was too light for my skin tone. 
especially to use it as a bronzer. That would be the shade if I wanted to use this as an all over color, but for a bronzer, I like the light medium the best. I also wanna recommend a product. Now, if you're into eyelash curlers, you need to try this one. This is the one from Shiseido, and right now they have a holiday eyelash curler that is gold. Very chic, I really love the look of that. I almost wanna pick up another one, but that's silly because I have this one. But this is literally the best eyelash curler. It really does curl your lashes very nicely. It just has that perfect application where it pinches in the right spot and it just curls like a dream. I have tried so many eyelash curlers in the past that I just gave up. And there were years where I wasn't even using an eyelash curler because I thought they don't even curl my lashes. They don't do what they're supposed to do. So why am I using this? Why do I keep purchasing them? And although they look the same, they do the same thing, they are not all the same. There's a lot of cheap eyelash curlers that literally don't curl your lashes and you feel like your lashes are being damaged in the process. This is the best. It curls my lashes really nicely before, of course, I put on mascara. But even on those no makeup days, I will still just curl my lashes just to give that lift. And my lashes will stay like that for the entire day without mascara. So if you are in the market for a new eyelash curler, I highly recommend the Shiseido one. Of course, I will link up this one as well as the gold one below for you. But it's also a great little stocking stuffer as well. And I'm telling you, I've done my research on eyelash curlers and this is literally the best one I've ever used. Now I have been eyeing the Makeup by Mario Ethereal Eyes Eyeshadow Palette. This launched many months ago and I almost bought it back then but I talked myself out of it because I kept saying to myself, how often are you going to use this palette? You use your bronzers and your blushes and highlighters on your eyes. And I like to do that because I like to get a lot of use out of my makeup products. So I basically talked myself out of purchasing this, but every time I go to the Makeup by Mario page and I'm looking at his products, I'm always drawn to this palette. So you'll have to let me know if you've tried this. Do you like it? Do you feel like the wear time is there? Is there a lot of fallout? Please let me know in the comments below, but I may consider purchasing this just to get it out of my system. I also wanna mention this set with you guys. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Mini Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray Duo Set. If you're looking for a makeup setting spray that actually keeps your makeup in place for the entire day, you need to try the one from Charlotte Tilbury. This one you're getting two mini sizes for $39 Canadian, so of course, great as a stocking stuffer, or you may wanna break up the set, keep one for yourself and gift the other one to a friend or a family member, but this one literally keeps your makeup in place. So the way that I finish my makeup look is the way that it looks at the end of the night. Nothing has faded, nothing has moved around. Everything is just in place looking so flawless. So I highly recommend this makeup setting spray or this set. This really is one of the best. And the last product that's in my cart is the Moroccan Oil Dry Shampoo for Light Tones. So this dry shampoo are for those that have blonde, gray, or white hair. There is a purple tone to the powder, which helps to keep everything nice and cool and ashy. And I love this dry shampoo for that reason, but also this is another formulation that doesn't leave my hair feeling gross. It doesn't leave a film at the root. It actually makes my hair feel and look clean. So I use this basically on that third day of not washing my hair. That's generally when I need to start amping up the dry shampoo. And then I might use it again the next day and then I will wash my hair that following day. They do have one for dark tones. So the powder will be darker so you don't have that white residue at the root. It has a beautiful fragrance to it. It just, it's just great. I really like this dry shampoo. So if you use dry shampoo, you're looking for something new. I really do recommend the one from Moroccan Oil. So those are all of the products that that are currently in my cart. I hope that you enjoyed today's video. And of course, I will reveal everything that I ended up picking up at a later date, which will come very soon actually. So don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned because usually during the Sephora sale, I place a few orders as I forget to pick up things, but then of course those last minute decisions. So I will share everything come then. But in the meantime, please let me know what you plan on picking up. What are your holy grails? And is there anything that you would like for me to purchase? purchase to review
review at a later date. Also let me know in the comments below. And of course, these products that I talked about will be linked below for you in my description box. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And of course, I will see you all in the next video. Take care and I will see you all then. Bye guys.